Hey, what is up guys? RSG here from Piyakas9. And in today's episode, I'm going to share with you one of the best apps that I use on my Gear S3. And uh, it's an app that enables you to remotely control the camera on your smartphone. Now that is really handy. So, I mean, you're used to using the Gear S3. It's a smartwatch. So I'm sure you take calls, you can reply to texts. You can, um, you know, check your, uh, if, if a tweet arrives on your phone, you can view it here and reply to it as well. But I think one of the most useful things is to be able to have your phone set up somewhere, even if it's say for a selfie or somewhere where you are taking say a long exposure photo where your phone just cannot be moved and uh, meaning that your phone should not have any sort of vibration so you have to set it somewhere so that is where this is really useful now what you have to do is just get the app so my phone is connected so i will just go to samsung here so over here we have apps and in the apps, you will see that the app I'm using goes by a very simple name, Camera Controller. So you just go to the Samsung Galaxy apps. So that's the app store. And under the gear section, you can just search for Camera Controller and you can get this app. So it's, it's not really big, it's actually quite small. So once it's installed, so it's installed, it's installed on my gear as well and you're good to go. So we're going to check out some of the neat things you can do with this app, some of the downsides and uh, whether or not it's useful. I think it is definitely useful, but it depends from user to user. So you can use it and check it out for yourselves. I'm just going to place the phone here. So very quickly, we have to keep just keep the phone unlocked okay so from here as you can see this press this icon so now it's connected by the way my gear s3 is connected with the phone via bluetooth and as you can see so that's my studio and you can see it so there is a little bit of lag and just so you know that the display here is quite clear, not the clearest. It definitely doesn't take full advantage. What? Call John, search Bermuda Triangle? Why, why would I? Sorry for that. Okay. By the way, guys, any notification or something that comes up stupidly like this and this exits the app. So that's really stupid. Anyway, let's go back okay so i don't know how much you can make out from this display over here it doesn't really take advantage of all the pixels on your gear so it looks a little pixelated and of course there is that lag like i said and on your phone as well so if i can just show you the phone uh, the picture looks a little distorted now once you take the final photo that's not what happens you get you're obviously using the camera of your phone to take the photo, so your pictures come out absolutely fine. But as a reference, when you're looking at your Gear S3, so you're just going to get a rough idea. And the bad side is it doesn't cover the entire frame. So it's a round display, guys. So you're kind of seeing just a circular portion of it. As you can see on the phone, it covers, you can see my desk on the left, but over here, you cannot completely see the desk. So that's a preview. I took a picture before. That's a preview. You cannot move or change that. But even so, you cannot see the entire frame. But it's still nifty to have this and just take photos remotely using this. So that's pretty neat. Now let's just quickly go into the settings here. So right now it's set to switch uh, the, the selection. So 
that's the rear facing camera now if I switch it there you can see me there I am in a very awkward position with my camera okay back to settings again here you have the timer so you can use the, use the dial to actually go or you can click it directly so the timer gives you options of three four five seconds so we don't need that right now let's go back next you have the flash okay yeah sure then you have the mode so yeah it's processing gotta wait I think we'll what we'll do is just to give you the full functionality we'll switch to the your facing camera yeah go back to settings and mode yeah so what does this give you okay so this actually gives you the HDR so you can select whether you want HDR or not and we leave it to A which is auto this lets you choose your resolution so you gotta give it some time what did I press sorry mode sorry that's the resolution very sorry guys that's the resolution so here you can select you can go as low as 640 by 480 yeah I think we've gone long past that so we're never going to use that ever yeah so we'll just leave it at 16 and this is actually the toggle for video or stills so right now I clicked it it's back to stills go back into settings camera click it again takes you to video so if we now hit record So it, it is recording and the way you know it is on your phone it shows you the file size as well as the duration so let's watch the gear s3 while i show you a little bit around and we stop hmm. unresponsive like I said guys, some downsides, definitely. Okay, so it finally stopped. So this app is not without its faults guys, definitely faulty. So let's just change the mode to camera. Okay so now look let's take a shot okay wow that was a loud camera sound so uh, one more thing is that you cannot by any means turn off that sound even if you put your phone in uh, silent mode or vibration or whatever that sound is there to stay so that sound you cannot turn that off so if you secretly want to take any photo of someone you can't do that they will hear that sound all right now you can also preview the image from here but the sad thing is this image looks very pixelated so it's just useful enough to know that you've actually taken the photo but not for preview purposes all right now if you take a look at the preview from the photo you've taken this is absolutely clear so this uses obviously the full resolution of your camera on the phone so that's you're good to go from there okay now a couple of disadvantages is that if your phone is locked if it's not unlocked then the app will not respond and so it has to be unlocked uh, even if it's asleep if your screen is Oh, what is it with this voice command sorry so for example if I lock the phone so I'm going to place it right over here so you can see and I'm going to click this app again so my gear is connected but because the phone is off it's gonna say activity 
is not active okay activity is not active okay yeah i think that's a very straightforward way to say it so yeah guys that is a disadvantage so we are just gonna go back unlock our phone and try the app one more time and yeah it works Uh, by the way guys, uh, this camera controller, I should mention the name of the developer as well. So this is by uh, Tizen Web App. Yeah, if you see the name Tizen Web App, that's the one. And as of now, it's got this sky blue circle with a camera logo. Camera controller, pretty straightforward. Definitely a very useful app guys. If, like I said, for those uses. And plus it's just very nifty to be able to you know, keep your phone somewhere and control it from your smartwatch. After all, it's a smartwatch. If you do not put it to those uses, it's just a waste. So good app. Definitely check it out. If you have a Gear S3, get it and enjoy. And do let me know how that worked out for you. So that's been it, guys. A very nice camera controlling app for your Gear S3 and it's free. Yes, forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. It's free. Absolutely. There are paid versions of other apps. Sorry, not versions. There are other paid apps, but this is the only free one. And this is pretty good. I mean, for a free app, I would give it a 4 out of 5 for sure. So it's got my seal of get with confidence. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, that makes it. Yeah, if you've hated it, give it a thumbs down. I will love you guys nonetheless. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.